12 questions tagged. I have been tagged by the Gamer Shack to um, record a video answering these 12, some 12 questions. These videos go around quite a lot. It's just a way for YouTubers to get to know other YouTubers and for you guys to get to know who's sitting behind the camera. I have no idea who like chooses the questions though. That's one thing I've always wondered. Like whoever starts them, they pick. Some, sometimes they pick really weird questions. Anyway, so the questions are but down on the laptop next to me, so I am going to keep looking down, but we'll try and make it as interesting as possible. Number one is, when did you start YouTube? Um, I think I've recorded my very first one in about September 2015, which I will put a link down below so you guys can see which one it was. And then I didn't say, start taking it seriously until about August 2016, so that's quite a bit of a difference. Number two is why I started YouTube. I was actually rather bored, that's how I started YouTube. Um, I received my first My Geek Box in the post and I knew that other people did like unboxings and that and I was quite bored so I decided to sit and record it and got a few good views and I also no realised that I really enjoy sitting in front of a camera which sounds really weird. Like, I don't know, I feel like a complete different person when I'm recording videos. I have, it's just really weird to say. Like, I feel like I have more confidence when I'm sat behind the camera than when I'm in normal life. So, I don't know. I just really enjoy it and this is where I am now. Number three is what's your favourite show you've made? I don't really have a favourite. I've recorded so many different ones. I enjoy my holiday ones. The challenge ones are hilarious and really funny to edit. For instance, the nose kissing challenge cracked me up when I was um, editing that. Just because of the faces I was pulling. So, I don't really have a favourite though. Have you met any other YouTubers? No, but I do talk to the Gamer Shack basically every day. We have known each other, talked to now for about five months, I think. It feels like it's got to be at least five months. And we send each other gifts and that. So I do think we do need to try and meet up this year just so that we can... Because like I said, it's weird that we talk to each other every day, but we haven't actually met in person. So we should meet up. Um, what's your favourite animal? I don't really have a favourite animal. There's so many animals out there that I love. For instance, there's all sorts of bears, just because of Winnie the Pooh. I was a big Winnie the Pooh fan, and bears just stuck with me. I love meerkats. I'm, I'm, admire turtles. I'm obsessed with bees. It's, there's so many out there. Um, it's really hard to say a favourite. What's your favourite colour? Um, blue. It's, that's just easy to say. I love blue because it's calming. It's a relaxing colour, there's so many different shades of it, and because my eyes are blue as well, which is a pretty good plus, I guess. What's your favourite holiday? Do they mean holiday as a national holiday, or holiday as in flying around going on holiday? I'm going to answer that in both ways, because I don't know what they mean, which one they want. National holiday is Christmas, just because you can feel the love, everyone's really happy, the children are all excited, the decorations are beautiful, the lights are beautiful. It's just a happy, loving kind of time of year. Favourite holiday is in going on holiday, though. It's a really hard one, because every single holiday is different. You're going to have different people, you're going to have different cultures. It's, di it's just like every time is a complete and different... It's a completely different experience, so it's really hard to say I have a favourite one. However, I do have a favourite country at the moment. Iceland, by far, is my favourite country I've visited so far, just because it's so clean, so happy, so kind. It's just, it's, a, it's magical. It's such an amazing place, and I'm so happy I'm going back this year. What's your goal for this year? Well, I actually have a lot. I have made a video of me saying those goals, so I am going to put a link down below for you, and then that way you can watch it instead of me just telling you the goals. What equipment do you use? I don't really use much equipment. I use my iPhone to record, and then I have a light, which I want to get for you guys, on a side at my feet, just to give it a bit more light. That's how I record. Um, I did have a camera that I recorded for a bit, but that broke, and then I went to the iPhone and it was just easier. I have got my eye on a new camera though, but that's ranging from about £2,000 to £3,000, so that's going to be a while until I get that, so for now it's just going to have to be on the iPhone. How do you edit your shows? I use NCH Video Pad, or is it Video Editor, to edit them. Um, that's the cheapest one available, so I got it because it was the cheapest. It is good, it's not brilliant, like you can't do much on it, but it's as good as I can get. Um, thumbnails, I use NCH PhotoPad, however I found a bit of a loophole with that. 
instead of buying I just keep using the demo version every time it says the demo version has expired and I need to buy it now I then just uninstall it and then go back and reinstall it and then that way I get it for free again so I just keep doing that just makes it easier for me for now um who are some of your favourite YouTubers? I have so many. We don't really watch TV at home. We mainly watch Netflix or YouTube. So there's so many YouTubers that we watch and so many YouTubers that, YouTubers that I love. There's Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, Super Mary Face, and then there's like the Gamer Shack I watch. Um, I've now forgotten his channel, but Matthew, the one that does the um video, the film reviews, I really like watching his. I've forgotten what his channel's called now though. But it's just oh, I feel bad now. I'll put a link to his um channel down below. Just because I like watching his reviews, he has some really good opinions and actually some of his reviews have made me, steered me away from some bad films, which is pretty good. Um, what's been your biggest success and fail so far? Does that mean on YouTube or in my life? Um, let's try and think. Success? I don't really know. And fails? Well, my whole life is a fail really. I'm one of those people that just can't get things right. Like, it was only the other day where I knocked mine and David's toothbrushes in the toilet. And we had to go get new toothbrushes just because of that. Um, basically, I'm one of those people that just constantly fail. So it's a hard one to pick. And I'm just going to stay clear and not answer that question. So there you go. There's my 12 questions. Um, I am meant to tag three people now. But I feel like quite a lot of people that I would have tagged have already done this video. So I'm going to go on their channels first. And then decide who I'm going to tag. So I will write them down in the description. And then I will just put their names at the end of this video. Just so they can see them. And then they can know what to do. Um, so that's everything, I'm sorry if it weren't interesting, I did try to answer the questions as honestly as possible and try to make this video as short as possible because I know some people get bored of the long ones when you're just sitting there. But there you go, that's everything, so thank you so much for watching, if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to my channel, I do put up a range of videos, I have gamings, I have unboxings, I do my vlogging now, so it's a whole range and I'm starting to cosplay as well. Um, that's everything, so I hope you have a great morning, afternoon, evening, whatever the time of day is. I hope you're happy and smiling, because that's the most important thing, and I'll see you all in my next video.